Yeah, what's good, people? We back. Had to come through, right? So you see what's going on, right? You see what happened in this uh, international game between Germany and Slovenia. You see this coach um, violating. You see this coach violating. Um, had had the head coach Gordon Herbert. Um, you know, putting hands on. Toronto Raptors point guard Dennis Shooter, and I, I just I had to say I'm saying it like that so that we can put things into perspective. This is a, this is Dennis Shooter. He has had a you know a solid NBA career. Has a he's a current the current point guard for the Toronto Raptors. He currently plays in the NBA. He is doing them a favor by participating in this in these games, doing them a favor. Right, and I'm I'm going through when I saw this, and I'm going through, you know, the articles on this. They keep saying, "Oh, heated exchange." They they have a heated exchange. They have a you know, um, um, Dennis Edwards was ang. I, I mean, <laughs> Dennis, Dennis Schroeder was uh, was fuming on the sidelines. Dennis Schroeder was was so angry on the sidelines and had him and the coach have a heated exchange when really, you know, they're not putting things into perspective for what it is. Let's put this into perspective for what it really is. You have a head coach violating a player. Say say that. Do like do don't make it seem as if there's a back and forth between him and and the player. When the head, when the coach is putting hands on the player, trying to grab him up, you know what I'm saying, trying to grab him up, like, like, like this is an eight year old kid, at, you know what I'm saying, trying to grab him up from the dinner table or something like that, you know. And it, it's weird. It's really weird because the head coach. Gordon Herbert, this is in Germany. We don't. I don't know what spirit was flowing through him because we know about we have we know Germany's history. We don't know what type of spirit was flowing through the dude, but he started he grabbed, put hands on Dennis, on Dennis Schroeder, telling him and started pointing his finger and pointing his finger in his face. Like yo, sit down, sit down. It had a very very um, racist tone to it, like a very racist tone to it. Like sit down, boy. You know, sit down, boy. It had that it had that tone to it, and to the actions that you see in the video and the, the voice and everything. But it really just bothered me because, you know, watching this and 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 watching it and then looking at the reports of it, it's not matching up, and they keep making it seem as if, it, like you know, there there actually was an exchange between. Dennis Dennis Schroeder and you know the uh the head the head coach like it was uh, he like they yelling at each other back and forth like no that's not what it is you got the head coach violating yelling at the putting hands on the player yelling at him telling yelling at him to, telling him to sit down like he's a dog you know so put put it into perspective I was really I was really you know, I'm looking at it like I really was hoping Latrell, like Dennis, Dennis Shooter just turned into Latrell Sprewell. You know what I'm saying? Like he, all of a sudden that inner Latrell just jumped out of him. But, you know, he knows better because you know how they're playing, especially being over there in Germany. We don't know what's going on. But I, I remember watching this, uh, the video of, I mean, uh, saw a clip. Of Isaiah Thomas, when Isaiah Thomas was bleeding, was, you know his eye was bleeding, and, and and there's some assistant coach walking him out of the game, like walking him back to the locker room. He, and the head coach, and that I mean, uh, that assistant coach must have said something or was doing something that that you know that violated Isaiah Thomas. He's from Chicago, so you know. 
he um snatched him up. It was Isaiah Thomas had to snatch him up, put hands on him, grab him up by his neck, you know, just to make sure that he that he's being hurt, you know. And I thought maybe like maybe like that was just I just brought that up as an example that yes, that can happen. It could it could have happened. Because at the end of the video where you see uh Dennis Dennis uh shooter like, yo, never put your hands on me like that. Never put your hands on me like that, but then the coach wanna um I don't uh you know, he must have he must have felt it. You know, must have felt must have must have felt Latrell or remembered Latrell. He started saying, No, Dennis, I, I just want you to sit down. J- just sit down, Dennis. Like, no, that's not what you meant. And why I gotta sit down? Like you look at the video, you see everybody else uh standing up. Like and I and I play in the NBA. I'm doing you a favor, dog. I'm I'm letting you put on your resume that you coached me. Cause I don't need to be here. I play in the NBA. In the NBA. Where the world champs come from. The, this this is like you know we're not getting the world champs from here. This is like the flea market, you know? And uh because when when that dude said that the other um other day talking about oh he don't know why they call the NBA players the world champions just like yo the, and I saw I forgot who it was the NBA player responded like oh they didn't tell you <laughs> you don't know why because they, this is the best league in the world composed of the best players in the world and no other team in the world can beat that team you know. There's, there's no team in the world that can beat the Denver Nuggets in 2023. Last year, when the Golden State Warriors won, there's no team in the world that can beat that team. The year before that, when the Milwaukee Bucks won, there's no team in the world that can that can beat them. You know? And that's, and that's been proven over and over again. And, uh, you know, because... Like this been proven over and over again, but I was thinking maybe this can lead to uh, an improvement in the NBA All Star Weekend because the All Star Weekend has been severely lacking. You know, NBA All Star Weekend now is like yo, yo, just Saturday. Like we don't even need Saturday. Like just do some, just just put a, put a camera on the parties or something like that. Cause like what y'all doing ever since Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine. You know, y'all act. Y'all just been disrespecting us with 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 what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And um, so maybe they should do the United States versus the world. You know what I'm saying? When they do uh, the players from the states, the best players from the states versus the best players from the world, that that will be a competitive team. That would that that's something to watch right there, especially with them trying to say, oh, the the past five MVPs are all um, international players and all that type of stuff. I'm like, listen, this that's this is all being manufactured. It's on purpose, you know. what I'm saying it's a cycle, and everything is on purpose. So we know the the international team going to have uh, nine centers on the team. They're gonna have nine centers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have Chris Dapps playing point guard, you know. So we know the players from, like you know it's just the players from the states versus the world. That should be that's that what what this should lead to because there's no the, like the reason the way that that was a conversation is like was crazy to me. Like there's a like when Michael Jordan was in Space Jam, he had to play. The monsters. He didn't play. He didn't play the Portland Trailblazers again, because he beat them already. So, he it's been proven that no, he had to find another team that can compete with them. And you know what? They weren't. They weren't in this world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why you are the world champions when you win the NBA championship. You know, I just I just had to make that clear with all this uh and in that with this what's going on with international basketball and and you know the act like to think to think that there is a comparison or a competition is crazy to me but I'm gonna just go on and get out of here on that one man you know salute to Latrell Sprewell man we out. Uh,